Hey there, this is Scrapping Like a Lady, and I am on the dome part of the beast. And I went back and forth as to if I was going to do the rose in a white or a black because I wanted to do it in ABs. And it is snowing here, and my husband refuses to take me to Hobby Lobby, even though it's just down the street. I told him I'd get on his back and he could just carry me, but he said no. Um, so I don't, I don't know. I think I'll just be different and do it in a black and blue. Um, let me put my little readers on here, my old eyes. So these ones, where is the camera? Right here, you see how it has the black and blue in there? And those ABs, it's like a teal black. And so I thought, how would that look if I put those two together and did my rose in that? And they're both A, B. So what do you guys think? Hmm. Yeah. So I'm going to be a little different. And I told Pam I was going to do it. And what did she think if I did it in black? Because I could be a little different. Because everyone that gets the beast is going to do it in red, right? Um, More than likely. And she was like, black power. It sounds so funny considering she's white, but <laughs> that's what she says. She's so funny. I'm always doing the pump the fist thing in front of her. She's like, whatever, you know, so. I can't connect to the public uh -oh. network. We are still having brownouts. All right, Alexa, that's enough for me. Oh, Lord. Can you tell we have multiple? Uh-oh, Alexa's plugged in here, this one. I can't connect to Oh my password. gosh. You may need to update your connection. Take a look at the help section in your Alexa app. I'm having trouble connecting. <laughs> I'll keep trying. They're all going off. We have them in like every room. Oh, I think I said her name and that sent her into a little tizzy. So we were having a brownout. It just came back on, literally like just came back on. <coughs> and so... Uh, my husband put my A3 on my on my table here um, because you can use a charger for that one. It's battery operated, so that's really nice because I had my A2, oops, my A2 on, and you've got to have power. And so he was like, "Why don't you switch to your other one?" I was like, oh, see, when my brain isn't working, his brain is working. Okay, for some reason, these seem a little wonky over here, but let's get into some whip and chat talk. Uh, so go get your latest project you're working on and we can just kind of talk and work and get some stuff done. Well, we're all stuck at home, hopefully all of us. If you're not at home, get home. Um, again, I just got off the phone with Pam and she told me she was at CVS. And how much snow is out there? You guys, do we have about a, it's less than a foot, maybe six, seven inches out there? Yeah, there's quite a bit. <laughs> quite a bit now um i showed you guys in the last video well i was born in new york but i was raised in california so i can't drive on snow mm -mm. i got new tires because um i crashed my, my husband's laughing i crashed myself and um on my way to work and uh, my husband had to come and call AAA and everything and they told my car to the um, what is that called? Discount tires, where he always gets his tires, and he put new tires on my car. There was no damage to the body of my car, just all my tires blew out. I hit the curb, and I was airborne. Just, yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyways, yeah, y'all can see. That's enough of that talk. So, I have new tires. 
but I'm not, they're not snow tires. So I am not gonna get out there and um, crash trying to go get my ABs. I wanted him to take me, but I, I realized why well, he doesn't wanna take me. He's always something could happen type of person. He's always something could happen. It ain't gonna happen. But anyways, um, uh-oh. That's his phone. He's always on call and have stuff going on with his business, so. And he's sitting right next to me now, and you guys know that, so you'll probably hear his phone several times. He can't. I guess he could mute it and put it on vibrate, but I can't expect him to accommodate me with all my little desires all the time. But let's see, let's do part four. I think I left off when I was in the, was it fourth grade, Mrs. Fogan's class? And I told you about, yeah, I think that's where I left off. If not, I can't remember. So I will just start from there. Oh no, I told you guys when we went to California and I told you about my stepmother being, what, 18, 19? I think she was 19 when she became our stepmother and my sister and I were like 10 and 11 or so. So, and I said, I wasn't gonna call her evil. I was just going to say that she was young, immature, childish, all of those kind of things. Cause she put us through some pretty crazy things, you know, but um, yeah. Yeah, because I remember I told you guys she cut all my hair off because my hair would grow really long and she was jealous and she would cut all of our hair off. Well, not all of our hair. It was really just me. I don't remember her ever cutting anyone else's hair except my hair. But my mother was in uh, New York still when we left New York. And then she moved to Houston and she met and married my stepdad. And my stepdad and I both have the same birthday, February 12th. I don't know how much of this you guys can see. Okay, so you can see all the way down to here. Okay, fine. Um, which I always thought was really, really funny, you know? So yeah, we get to celebrate the same day and it's like she can't forget my birthday because she'll be celebrating her husband's birthday and she would send us gifts for our birthdays and christmas and you know what have you and we would never get them and um one year i found the gifts in my stepmother's trunk and I was nosing about looking for some of my other stuff that she had confiscated. She was, she would just take our stuff, you know, and hide it from us. And so um, I looked in the trunk when she left one day and there were all of these gifts that my mom had sent us. And I didn't say anything. I just closed the trunk back. And um, we met, Christmas came and went and she never gave them to us. I don't know what she did with them. Um, my mom probably thought we were very ungrateful because we never called and said thank you because we never got anything. So I don't know if my mom knows that or not. I think I eventually told her and she never inquired, like she would never call and say, did you guys get the gifts? Maybe she was waiting for us to say something or whatever, but yeah, we never got them. So those are the type of things she would do. And she would sleep all day and have us clean the house. And then she would 
um, get up right before my father returned home and act like she had did everything. All the cooking, the cleaning, she didn't do any of it. It was, yeah, she would say, bring me my tea and we'd serve her tea and stuff like that. But she never, she never was a mother, you know? And we didn't know, we didn't know that she was so young, you know, and that's why she was doing these things. We just thought that's just how she is. And we come from people that like my family, my aunts and uncles, they're like extremely nice. And I told you guys that, like we've got a great, great family in New York, you know, they go out of their way to love on you. So we were like not, not used to this type of behavior. Um, maybe that's why we were uh -oh, able to overlook it or whatever, but yeah. Or maybe we were just taught not to think naughty of people, you know, through my dad and all of his positive thinking tapes and stuff like that. He would even like, Cameron, take that from that dog, Bella. Um, she's got that dang on toy again. Um, he would play those tapes all through the house, day and night, you know, oh my God. But, um, I'm going to set this down. You know why? Because I want to show you guys something. Have you guys tried these lemon ups by the Girl Scouts? Ooh, 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 ooh. Let me tell you about these cookies. Um, normally, I would just give the Girl Scouts money when I see them here, here's $20, $30, whatever, you know, not take the cookies because who needs all that drama in their life, right? So then um, my employee said, you got to taste this, Lisa, and she put one in my mouth. Why did she do that sin to me? Why did she sin against me? Because you see this, like, this is me. I gave her money and I was like, buy me four four. Um, packages of that. I ate all of those. Went to Lowe's the other day to get paint because like I said, I'm painting my sewing room furniture and I bought what? Five? Yeah, I bought five of these. And uh, honey, did you give one of my packages of cookies to Alan? Mm -hmm. Did you? <laughs> I looked in there and I was like, oh, maybe my son took one up to his room, you know, one of the boys. But you no, know, my husband, he did. He gave it to Alan. His friend came by the other day, which is fine. Because uh, when I see those girls, I'm like, give me all you got. Because, you know, they only sell it at certain times. Bella, Willie, can you take this toy from your dog? <laughs> she crashed her party. Yeah, she's crashing my party with this squeaky, silly toy. Anyways, um... That toy is going to find its way into the garbage. So, yeah, get yourself some of those because those cookies, oh my goodness, you will like commit murder for them. They are so good and they're only going to sell them for a short limit of, you know, short amount of time and then they're not gonna, you're not going to be able to get them. So you need to get enough for like a year's worth. No, I can just take it, take it straight. Yeah, I can take a glass of that. I couldn't drink this coffee. It's like way too strong. Oh, to me. Okay. Oh, He's trying to put hair on my chest. More hair. <laughs> I already have hair on my chin. As they say here, take it, mohair. Mohair. <laughs> um, so, yeah. <laughs> there is a town called Mohair here. And they're like, you, and it's not even spelled like that. It's like, if you don't hear the locals say it, you will not know how to pronounce it. M-I-X-H-I-A or something. M-I-X, yeah. It's a real funky way of saying it. It's, it. I think it's Spanish or something, right? But anyways, oh, here it comes. Cupcake Moscato's, ladies and gentlemen. I always want to say ladies, but you know, men do diamond arts and all the other crafts too. And oh my goodness, men... They, their crafts, they cut up. Oh, I think it's that engineering mind they have. Mm. Come and get this coffee, honey. 
because I'd rather have a glass of Moscato. Y'all get y'all some. <laughs> He's bawling. <laughs> oh, what am I doing? Okay, let me reach across here. I got to turn on my other light. Isn't that better, y'all? So I hope this comes out good with the... Um... Okay. <laughs> he said, I got to put it in the refrigerator and it's freezing outside. And so he stuck it on the porch. <laughs> Y'all see why I married him? Oh my God. He has always been so funny. Like the first night I met him, he had me cracking up. And I just thought about him over and over. I was like, oh my God, I don't think I've laughed so hard. You know how you laugh so hard and your face actually starts to hurt? Yeah. He's like that type of funny. Yeah, you guys will meet him in my videos once he gets enough courage to get on my videos. He's a he's a little bit bashful. Um, when you meet him, he's not, and he loves to laugh, but um, he never wants to get on camera. Honey, are you going to get on camera sometime? They'll ID me. They'll ID <laughs> That's how the FBI finds you. That's how they find you? Oh, okay. Well, maybe you need to be found. Anyways, so we are doing the outline of this dome. I am so excited for this one, you guys, because it is just beautiful, uh, seriously. Uh, and I am so grateful to have multiple um, light sources because, um, again, when those lights went out, he was like, battery power. And I bought him that little generator battery charger thing for Christmas. Um, and I bought my son one and my brother-in-law one. And the batteries are good. The solar system needs batteries. Oh, God. Here we go. Here he goes. He wants to get the battery um, some type of battery power that works with the solar systems. $15,000. Uh, I, I'm not even hearing it. He always thinks we need something that we'll never use. But, but I digressed. What do you guys think? Now, I, it's going to take me a minute. I'm going to upload this video. And um, you guys can tell me what you think about me doing that black in... Um, hey, the black in... Um, Teal will actually match my work. So, doesn't that make sense, you people? To do it black and teal? No? Let me know. Leave me a comment and like, no, fool. You can't do it black and teal. You know, I like people on YouTube. I'm sure there's going to be a time where I don't like people. And they will leave me ugly comments. <laughs> But so far, people have been, yeah, people have been nice to, uh, you know, to me. But um, my husband's laughing. I'm like, mm, they don't know me very well because if they say something, I will definitely say something back. And, you know, I was listening to one YouTuber and she has like 30,000 people, you know, and you guys probably know who I'm talking about. It's our cussing diva out there. You know who I'm talking about. Ooh, that girl love to say her words. She just cracked me up. My husband just laughs every time I play her videos out loud. He just stares at the screen like, you are cray cray because she says some words. But um, she will call you an mf -er and everything else. I was listening to her the other day. I was like, oh, she is like so bold like I could hang out with her all day long because I like her boldness you know there's a lot of women out there you know we're like oh we still have to be timid mm -mm, this is 2021 you don't have to be timid you can if someone come at you you can come right back at them that'll stop them from coming at you so but we do have to be a little ladylike so I guess it's um but is timid being ladylike? I don't think so. No, I'm not afraid of anybody. So, 
I will say something if someone says something will come at me wrong. Mm -mm. Wah! Come right back at him. But anyways, you know I am going to do that all day long. Uh, is it cold where you guys are at? Is it cold? My son's over there frying up an egg at 2.30 in the afternoon. I guess he wants some breakfast. That's Cameron. Logan came down earlier and he made his food. He was in there banging pots and pans and everything. I was like, shh. I'm trying to do a whipping chat. I guess it's hard to do one in the general areas of your home, you know, people still got to live. And uh, here it is, you want to sit for an hour and talk to people and they got to be quiet. But I could do it if they needed me to. So I figured they can do it because I need them to. I love these multi-placers. I've only used the three and the four. I haven't used, well, I'm moving you guys. I haven't used the, um, I guess the sevens and the nines and everything. Do you guys see how warped this tray is? I am still using this warped tray, even though I sent for um, some, some more of these. Um, this one was warped when I got it. My son heated it up for it could lie flatter. And it does, but the heat warped it a little bit. But it's still, it's it's working. But um, I have sent for some more. I need to call the people that did my Lasix because I had, I have one eye that's for distance and one eye that's for um, close up. And I was really only having problems with distance, if I remember correctly, but uh, they that's what they did. So one eye is for distance and one eye is for close up. And they said that the brain will register and regulate it and your sight will be fine. Well, my sight never did that. So I need to call them. It's been two years since my uh, procedure. And my husband had his done, his eyes done, and my Cameron, my middle boy, he had his done. He had his done on a Thursday, and then Willie and I had ours done Friday. That way he could drive us home. And oh my gosh, my husband was fine. My eyes were burning so bad. I just felt like screaming the whole time. It felt like someone poured sriracha in my eyes. Um... I did everything they said to do. I put the antibiotic drops and the steroid drops and stuff in my eyes. And um, yeah, my eyes, even when I went there, I was like, yeah, no, my eyes are not good. I mean, they're good, but not as good as I thought they were going to be. I, I, I almost felt like there was really no change that happened. But now I feel like something has happened because I feel a little you know, discombobulated sometimes with my sight. So sometimes, like my grandma used to always say, it's better to leave bed enough alone. <laughs> um, meaning that when you get it to the point where it's good, leave it alone. And if it ain't bothering you, don't fix it. But um, that procedure is expensive to me because everything is relative. Um, but because I'm a nurse, they, um, gave me, a you know, being a medical field discount and my patients that go there and tell them that I sent them, I give a referral, they give them a discount as well. And so, um, yeah, I've had several people go over and get their eyes done and everyone is like, what? you know and it could be that I have scoptic sensitivity syndrome um, where you're extremely sensitive to light and the words move on the screen or your book um, it could be that as well you know I didn't even think about that Willie you know that it could have something to do with that because yeah my eyes make me feel a little disoriented sometimes but um 
So that's going on with my site. Okay, so why am I using that when I just got all of these um, crayons in? Yeah, that's some of them. Um, because in these open areas, I can use this. Um, like here, let me show you guys when I place it. You've got to be so light with this. But when you go to um, put another row and then they join, it, it butts up together, you gotta really push it to hear that click to make it go down. And that's when wax is deposited on my canvas. Um, so I was like, okay, uh, these are just going to be for like open areas, not for when you have to snap them down because I don't want that wax residue. Um, so yeah, that's what's going on with those. Am I strange? No, I think that actually makes sense. I think a lot of people will feel that way. Um, and if people don't like the pretty placers, it might be because they're not able to push down um, and put pressure on it. So use them in your open areas, you know, or do that checker pattern. And then when you have to go in and fill in the checker pattern, you can use your regular um, pens for that. Oh, this is not working very good. Um, use your regular pens for that. Because if you don't want all that wax, what are those? Battery backup systems? Okay. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> Let me see that. Mm -hmm. I, I've got to show them. <laughs> That's how I get you to buy it. <laughs> so he printed out. <coughs> Um, those battery backups that he thinks he needs and he superimposed the word diamond art club <laughs> and printed it out for I can see saying that the only way I'll buy it is if it says that on it okay you you know what yeah I'm thinking our son is special because of you I think it runs in your family you guys are crazy. You know, they say that it's hereditary. They did some stu study out of Berkeley or somewhere saying that um, they ran some poll and that the percentage was like in the 90s with the boys that were autistics. Their fathers were engineers and uh, trying to link it that way. Well, my husband is an engineer. My son is autistic. I was like, yep. I knew it was because of him. <laughs> oh, gosh. If you want to. That just shows why he's autistic right there. Yeah. <laughs> highly intelligent. <laughs> yes. So, um, when I show you guys the painting that Logan did in the hallway... It is so good. I mean, I was, I went into his room. I don't even know. It, it, he can draw like in no time. And I guess most artists can do that. I cannot draw. I mean, I can't even draw a stick figure. I just cannot. I can't even draw straight lines. I'm surprised my dots, my uh, drills aren't all over the place. I wish I could draw. And you know, my father was teaching me to play the guitar. Yeah, no. I, I, um, he said I was actually good, but no. I, I didn't feel that way. I felt like I sucked. So I felt like he was just saying that because I'm his child and he was trying to encourage me. So yeah, we're, we're not doing that. I am a reality-based person. <laughs> And uh, I'm not going to lie to myself, especially not going to lie to myself. There's some things I do great, 
like cook. I can cook my way out of trouble. I can taste foods and I can replicate foods. But um, a drawing, I cannot. And when I do something, like if I do a scrapbook page, I always feel like, oh, it's not good enough. Now, the, um, what is it? Uh, Mindless Crafting. She has, why is that dot there? That is not even supposed to be there. What is, oh, maybe it just fell out of my tray and onto that. I'm like, that's not even the color. Um, Mindless Crafting, she, um, she has her own stamps and, you know, ink pads and stuff like that. That she, well, well, she has an ink pad and a re-inker, but um, I like her stamps and she, her, she has kits that she comes out with and I like her stuff and it's easy to follow along with her and stuff like that. I like buying that kind of stuff like um, Crafter's Companion. I like their stuff because they have a lot of tutorials and showing you how to use the product and um, great ideas and stuff like that. So, yeah. Would you stop that noise? Okay. Let's fill up with a little more Moscato. He gave me a full glass. And I told you guys, I am like such a lightweight. One of my clients told me the other day that she could drink a whole bottle of wine. And she was like, like silly girl, of course I can. Because I was like, oh my God, if I drink like this much wine, I am so like tipsy tipsy or maybe even just drunk out my mind, you know. And she was like, what? I can drink a whole bottle. I often finish a bottle at night. And I was like, you know, they got this place called AA. You can go on over there and get yourself some help. And she was like, Lisa, are you kidding me? That's not going to do anything to me. I've been doing that for a long time. I was like, okay, a mittens is good, but uh, you might need help with your problem. And um, I know Pam, Pam can put it away too. She's, I went to a wedding with her and I was like, um, Pam, and I know I was tipsy, but I tell you what, she didn't really seem like she was. She was like, this is the norm. What's wrong with you? So, yeah. And my husband, he can drink pretty good, but as he's gotten older, he used to drink a lot in college, but as he's gotten older, I noticed that his tolerance has gone down significantly. Of course, it's nowhere near mine. That I don't have a tolerance. I have a <laughs> intolerance. <laughs> sniff it. <laughs> my husband said, yeah, I can just sniff it. I'm an extremely cheap date. Yeah. I can like get taken advantage of so easily because uh, if you give me wine, well, you get what you get too because um, I'm wild when I'm tipsy. I like to laugh and dance and I'm wild, but you don't want to get drunk, but you might want to get a little tipsy sometimes when the new year comes in. But, you know, I say that, but a lot of people will have a glass of wine and it doesn't affect them at all. I mean, at all. Um, I told you guys about when my sister and I had a glass of wine together. It wasn't even a glass of wine. It was a, um, Margaret, what was it? A martini. And she was like, I got to call my husband to pick me up from the restaurant. I was like, ooh, I better call Willie. But, um, and I had drunk half of it. And she only had taken, I don't even think, a quarter of it. And she was like, oh. yeah. So, back to my story. 
Um, that was a long intermission. <laughs> <laughs> so let's see. Um, I was talking about my stepmother and my life there. And let me move a little bit past that. The life with my dad was so fun. I mean, his energy, he was so fun. So I probably was able to overlook my stepmother again because of my dad. And even when she would do things and I would stay up at night to tell him, um, I remember this one incident, I don't think I stayed up to tell him. I think that I was up when he came in and he asked me what was wrong and I told him, I won't go into details about it, and I told him and um, she had already told him something. That way, when he came in to see me, he had already had an opinion formed. But when I told him what really happened, my story was the truth and apparently more believable than what she had said. And he was like, he was kind of shocked. Like, this has been going on under my roof and you know, all this time. And if she's capable of that, then what else is she lying to me about, you know? So they got into this really bad argument and my stepmother packed up and left and went back to New York. And I was so happy because me and my sister, we had my dad all to ourselves and we had so much fun and such a good time. Um, and then she returned and she was hell on wheel. She was worse than before she left. So, um, oof, that lady there. She gives you nightmares if you let her. And so I married my first husband and moved away when I was a teenager. I left home at, what, 16, moved away and started my own life. Because if you hang out with crazy, you start to question yourself, am I crazy? <laughs> you want to uh, 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 someone and you're like, oh, that's a crazy thought, you know? Mm. But, um, yeah, so I left home and I didn't tell my dad. I snuck out and left. And they lived far, like hours away, an hour away at least from my ex-husband. And, um, yeah, I just started my own life. I actually became a nanny. And um, I told the lady, she had two sons, uh, <coughs> Garrett and Cameron were her kid's name. And I told Cameron when I left that if I ever have a son, I'm going to name him after you. And I did. I just love that little boy to pieces. He was like my son. But, um, so that's how Cameron got his name. And luckily my husband liked that name too. Because he let me name his son that. Well, I wasn't going to name him Willie. And I told him that. <laughs> I was like, I do not like that name. And my husband's family does this really weird thing. They Maybe it's not weird. Maybe it's country people. <laughs> I won't tell you guys what he's doing to me, but it's uh it's not a good thing. He's trying to <laughs> Well anyways, he <laughs> He his name is Willie, W I L L I E. His brother who was born before him, his name is Byron Willie. And my, my husband is the junior. I'm like, okay, what wackadoodle stuff? What wackadoodle stuff did you guys have going on here? But anyways, um, oh, I'm just making sure the thing is still going. So, 
Yeah, I don't like that name. In fact, when I met him, I thought his name was William Copper. <laughs> and he showed me his ID and he, cause he said it and I couldn't hear him cause the music was so loud. And so I was like, William Copper? And he kind of frowned his face up like, idiot girl, no. And so he showed me his ID and I guess I had it in my mind and I still read it, William Copper. <laughs> Oh gosh, you should have read. <laughs> like you non-reading fool, <laughs> illiterate. So, anyways, um, so that's how Cameron got his name. We're never gonna get through these stories. I'm gonna be on uh, segment seventy-six, <laughs> and you guys are gonna be like, "Is this girl ever gonna be done with her life? She's only fifty-one." <laughs> Okay, so anyways, um, so my first husband, um, so I married him, had a couple kids, well, I already had Kim, um, and then I had, uh, Richard, and then, oh, I think I told you guys up to the part where we went to Germany, didn't I? Well, he went to Germany, I got my own place, and, um, I'm going to have to leave a little thing to see where I stopped on my, on my stories where I don't tell you guys the same stuff. You know, you go to old people's house and they tell you stories and then you come back to their house and they tell you the same story. You're like, I already heard this story. But anyways, um, so I went to Germany to get my kids because I left them there with their father and went back to school and it was just a whole this, that, and the other. And um, then Willie and I got married. And when I was in Germany getting the kids, I was there for I think like 30 days one time. And um, I started having stomach issues and so I had to go to the hospital and I went to the German hospital, uh, which I loved. I love their medical facilities and everything. I love everything about Germany. Like I tell my husband all the time, like I could live in Germany. It's really nice. The people are nice. The food is great. I mean, I mean, the people are really nice, like super courteous. I remember one time, I was gonna go to the um, PX and um, we were walking down the street and this lady came out of the meat store, sausage and, you know, um, deli meats and all of that type of stuff, you know. And um, she came out, cause she had seen me walking several times and she came over and uh, to the curb and kinda took her hand and like, come over here and I was like, what does she want? And I went over there and she told me to come inside. She wanted to feed my kids. And she did. I was like, okay. And she was rubbing my daughter's hair like, oh, you know, it's probably the first time she's ever touched black hair. I don't know. Um, and Kimberly has mixed hair, but still. Um, she was rubbing her hair and just so fascinated with my kids and gave them all this stuff for free and told me to come back. So every time she saw me, she would come over, come over, you know, and it was a real cute relationship. But um, they just have really neat culture in Germany. They're, to me, they're laid back, you know, um, very friendly. And I've never saw anything. Now, I heard stuff, but I never saw anything that, you know, made me not want to be there or question the people. But the hospital, the doctor told me that he needed to do a hysterectomy on me. And I was like, I'm going back home. Not only am I going back home, but I want to have more kids. I wanted to have six kids. And um, so I got out of there as soon as I could because I thought, you know, there is something going on. I want to get it fixed. 
And it wasn't that I didn't think the German doctors were competent. I just, I wasn't sure, you know. Um, I was young and it just didn't make any sense. And so, yeah. But like I said, their medical facilities are really, really nice. Um, people are always talking about Canada and Germany and all those other countries that actually have, you know, state medical for people and you know long waits and all of this kind of stuff mm, yeah right no you guys just don't want to give us health care here you want us to pay for medicare and medicaid and all of this stuff but you don't want to give it to us um, you can you can provide medical that's so expensive i know personally we pay a lot for our medical plan um People can go bankrupt just off of your medical bills alone, especially with coronavirus. The one guy said he had like, what did he say, Willie? A million dollars he owed or something like that. I was like, okay. Because I know when I had to have my surgery and it went awry, it was $89,000. You heard me, $89,000. Like, say what? Yeah, don't get sick in America. Because they, um, they will put you out on the street. You'll become homeless. Just stay healthy and drink Moscato. <laughs> you look like a true drunk. <laughs> yeah, true drunk. <laughs> Ferment yourself. <laughs> it's an AA meeting discussion. Uh, so, I'm glad I didn't listen to that doctor because I wouldn't have my precious Cameron and my super duper Logie. Um, yeah. Are you guys, is anyone going, does anyone listen if you give her, you know, you tell them, go get this one right here. It is like the bomb shiggity diggity. Do people actually go do it? I know I do. If I see something that someone else has and I'm like, you know, saw how it came out, I'm like, oh, I am so getting that, you know? And sometimes I'll just put it on my wish list and sometimes I get it right then and there. But, um, yeah. I think you'll be very pleased. I, I want to know if other people are going to do different options on the rows. You know, like these right here are the white ones. I, I was like, oh, I can just AB all of the glass around it. And that's an option too. So like I said, I am going to do the outline um, of the glass of the dome. And let me show you guys. My hands feel so dry, even though I put lotion on them. Like this is all I have to do. Can you guys see that? Let me see, can you see? Okay, so this is all I have left to do. Today is Monday. Um, and of course I'm not at work and then tomorrow is Tuesday and, uh, doesn't look like it's going to let up with the snow. Um, even if it doesn't let up, I'm not going to open up my facility tomorrow because I'm not going to be out on the road. So I'm going to do this outline. I know that today and I'll do the outline of the rose cause that's in black as well. Um, so let me know, should I do the glass dome in white? with the AB diamonds or should I do the rose in black with the blue prisms on it and the blue ABs. I really think that would look nice and different, but 
I'm looking to change it up a little bit. Let's not all copy what they said. We bought it. It's ours now. You know, we can do whatever we want to do. But I don't want to do it and then regret it either. Because, oh, I know me. I'll scratch them all off and do something totally different. Because, you know, outlining it in the black, how it is, and doing it with white AVs would look really good too but maybe not because this is all white here so it might be too much white <sighs> i just don't know let me know what you guys think now how long have i been on here let me look at this thing here Fifty minutes all right i will go a little bit longer and do one hour straight up. All right, so in Germany, left Germany, um, left my ex-husband on good terms, you know, it wasn't working, his family was prejudiced, he was white, and um, he didn't know how to have an interracial marriage because he wasn't strong, so I met Willie and I told you guys about that. And then Willie was like, you need to go back to school. And I wanted to go to school anyways. So he was like, you need to go back to school. I'll support you. You can do whatever you want. Um, and I did, had Cameron. Of course we got married before I had Cameron. I'm not that kind of good. But yeah, I had, uh, we got married. I had Cameron, two miscarriages before Cameron. Told you guys all about that. Um, got him, then got a bonus baby, got Logan. And yeah, but I was done because that was my six kids. You know, even my miscarriages, I consider them because I carried them, you know. It wasn't like I was like two or three months and miscarried. No, no, no. We, we, we were deep into it, you know, so much so that we had to do an autopsy to find out what is going on with these babies. And um, that was really hard. I mean, that was a really hard time in my life. But um yeah. But we're gonna flip it because I do have my two wonderful boys. Oh my God, if you knew my sons, you would see why I call them wonderful. Oh my gosh. And, and my daughter, Kimberly. I mean, my kids make life worth living all, you know, on its own. I could never commit suicide anyways, but um, yeah. I mean, kids aren't for everybody. And sometimes I, I wanna kill my kids too. You know, especially when they start to sass you. That's my daughter. She, you know, she's, well, mother. Oh, no, no, no. You got me mixed up. I'm going to have to put you up on that wall and, and show you I'm not that kind of mother. But um, um, let's see. But for the most part, I'd say about 99.2% of the time, it is awesome, awesome, awesome being their mother. You know, a camera can get a little sassy too. Let me back up a minute. Yeah, sometimes he, he's not sassy as he is sarcastic. He is just like, yeah, he's like my husband, but with a little drier of a personality, a sense of humor. But um, he's funny too, though. But his sense of humor is not like my husband. Like everything can be a joke to my husband, you know. But, um, huh, Cameron? He's just sitting over there. He always does this, like shove off, shove off. <laughs> it's the funniest thing. But I'm a pretty laid back mama. Wouldn't you say, Cameron, I'm making a video and you're burping. You can't help it. They can't. they can't hear you. Did you guys hear that? They heard it. They told me they heard it. You're gross. Anyways, uh, that's what you, that's what you have. I am the only female in this house. And, you know, you get all of the noises coming from the body parts. It's just, it is what it is. So y'all gonna have to excuse it. I told you this is raw and unedited. Um, oh my goodness, you guys should see Bent Bent. He's curled up on the couch over here. He looks so cute. I just love having a little dog, especially cause I can like throw him in my purse 
and then I'll go shopping and he's like looking out, just his head's looking out and people are like, oh my gosh. Yeah, anyways, I got a hair over here just roaming around. So I told you guys about my seven grandkids and one granddaughter. Uh, well, six grandsons and one granddaughter make seven kids. And let's see, what else do I need to tell you guys before we close today, ladies and gentlemen? I like hearing about other people's lives. I really do. I find it like super fascinating because no two lives are the same. So I finished nursing school and like I said, I've worked all over. I've been all types of nurses. Um, I never did ER though. I've only done OR, um, hospice, geriatrics, pediatrics, you know, all of that kind of stuff. But, um, and I work, I'm an, a nurse esthetician right now, uh, but I don't know if I will ever go back into like full-time nursing um, oh, I dropped one of those drills right there. I, I don't know that I'll ever do that. I think after I'm done working for myself, I'm going to retire. Because my husband says he's going to retire soon. And if he retires, I'm, I'll still work. Because, uh-uh, I'm not staying home with him. No. I mean, I might work less. But I'm not staying home with him for what? No way. There's still life outside of this house. Now, my friend is opening, well, he has a resort already. And so I'm supposed to be going to Belize and starting a an adventure there with a whole new facility. And I will keep you guys updated. I was going to go there last week and, oh no, the lights just went out again. But see, this light pad didn't go out because it's battery operated. So, um, I, I will let you guys know all about that. And I will take you guys with me. I couldn't go because I had a patient flying in. And so, oh, go away, Willie. <laughs> you don't stand on the street corner. Um, um, I had a patient flying in. And like I said, I, I thought I, I think I said this a while ago that he couldn't, um, he flew in and I wasn't going to stand him up. You know what I mean? So my husband drove me to my work. I canceled all my other patients because the weather was supposed to be getting bad. So, um, yeah. Apparently these people don't realize I'm doing a video and they want to have a conversation. I have been going a while. Let me see. I have two more minutes, you guys. So be quiet. Let me finish my video. <laughs> my husband's doing the eagle stance. He's got his leg up in the air. Uh, can you imagine how crazy this house is? So um, I'm going to say goodbye to you guys and tell you to go and do your diamond arts. Um... I'm actually going to finish doing the dome and then um, I'm going to post this video for I can see what the unanimous vote is on the rows. Because I don't have any red AVs. Now I guess I could send for some and start on another project, but I'm not about that life. That would cause me to have to compromise and I'm not about to do that. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. 
So anyways, you guys have a great day or night whenever you're watching this video. Uh-oh. I that I had a ghost. There was nothing on my pen. You guys have a great day or night whenever you're watching this video and be blessed and buy yourself some Diamond Art Club stuff, people. Or just, I shouldn't even say that. Because there's tons, oh, I didn't get that one over there. There's tons of companies out there. Like I said, I did order that Bella Safina. Um, I haven't received it yet, but you guys know when I'll get it, I will do an unboxing. But, um, and I love how she does cute little things with her little pots and, you know, um, adheres things to it and just makes it ever so cute. You know, her presentation is just all that still don't understand why they have such limited stuff um you know on on their website but i don't know the company i don't know if it's a persons or just you know a mom and pop shop or you know what's going on with it but um yeah that's all i've got to say I hope you guys enjoyed my whipping chat. And let's see, where did I leave off? I told you guys, we left off with what? My grandkids? Yeah. That's all I got to say. Be blessed.